Now that we've moved our file from Final Cut to Soundtrack Pro, we need to get our file organized before we can do any kind of audio editing. So let's just start to see why mixing our audio inside Soundtrack makes a whole lot more sense than mixing our audio inside Final Cut. We'll type Shift-Z and this scales all the different tracks that we've imported so we can see what we're working with. Down here in the low left corner, there are four bars. These are exactly the same as the bars inside Final Cut. They allow us to change the track height from very small to very large. Most of the time for editing, I'm going to be working on the number three bar, but simply because my screen is small for this, I'm going to show you the second bar just to make it easier to fit more tracks into the screen. We also have a snapping function, but inside Soundtrack, Soundtrack gives you options in terms of what you're going to snap to. When we click here, we can snap to ruler ticks, or we can snap to seconds, or we can snap to video frames. Snapping to video frames is really useful when you want to sync up audio to start at a specific video frame. So I'm going to change this by clicking on the Frames button. Another real advantage that we've got inside Soundtrack is we can finally label stuff in a way that I wish we could label stuff inside Final Cut. Notice up here it's called Track A1. If I click on it, it opens up the track, and this happens to be Norman Holland, who's my co-host, as you know, for Two Real Guys. So I'm going to no label Norman's track, and I'll label my track. Because these are the tracks that Norman and I use when we're on camera, I'm going to Control-click on this track and add a color. I'm going to make all of our on-camera dialogue tracks gold. So I just simply Control-click anywhere inside the track header and say what color I want these tracks to be. I've gone ahead and, and labeled some of these other tracks just to save ourselves some time. And I want to now get my, my clips organized because they're scattered all over. I've got my two on-camera tracks up here. Now my theme music we can hear here, and we've got our actors, our Andrew on stage and Lisa and Danielle on stage. I've put the two girls on a single mic. I've put Andrew on a separate mic to make editing easier later. But this theme up here needs to go down with the rest of our music, which is at the bottom. There's a couple different ways that we can do this. One is we click on the track header and drag down. And one of the things that we can't do easily in Final Cut is reorganize our tracks by dragging. It's a piece of cake inside Soundtrack. Just grab the track header and drag down. As you drag, notice that a heavy black bar appears. Take a look right here. As I drag up, notice there's that heavy, it's not really black, it's kind of a medium dark gray. It appears right above the word theme, main. It allows me to see exactly where I'm going to be dragging a particular track. What I tend to do is I'll put all of my music tracks together. So I've got my theme tracks and I've got my ad track. This happens to be a, a podcast that's sponsored by Avid. Except, look here. I've got the Avid clip on that track, and I've got my second Avid commercial on a different track. Horrors! My audio is messed up! Ah, how do I fix it? Well, I could run around in small circles screaming and shouting, but you know, it would make me feel better, but it wouldn't accomplish anything. Instead, Command Plus to zoom in. We'll just scroll over and find that particular clip. Notice up here, I've got the, the global view. This is something I wish Final Cut had. It gives me a look at my entire project. If I click anywhere, it instantly jumps to that part from the beginning of my project to the end of my project. And if I grab inside this dark gray rectangle and drag up and down, it makes it very easy for me to scroll up and down between the different tracks that I've got. Now, why? I can hear you asking, why would I ever be interested in scrolling vertically? Well, Final Cut supports up to 99 tracks of audio. Soundtrack supports well north of 250 tracks of audio. We have truly an unlimited number of tracks of audio inside Soundtrack that we can use for creating our own projects, which means we don't have to worry about trying to cram everything down into just one or two tracks. Let's give ourselves the room that we need to be able to properly get control over our audio. But I digress. I want to get this music moved down. There's our music. There's one ad. There's some more theme music. Well, I grab the ad. I click on it to highlight it. Hold the shift key down. Holding the shift key down, I can drag the clip up and down. And what shift does is it constrains it so it doesn't move from side to side. 